Hi, my name is Ella and I will be presenting the next few videos. I just finished my undergraduate majoring in physics with honours in astrophysics and spent three weeks in Europe attending a conference in Rome and visiting collaborators in Heidelberg and Stockholm. Science is driven by data. Scientists collect data, form ideas based upon this data, then communicate their ideas in group meetings, conferences and papers. In communication with others, new ideas are created, and the cycle repeats. Because of this, science is not static. Every day, new theories are created and old ones are ruled out. It is near impossible to prove that something is true in nature. So the best science can do is provide us with the most likely theories that many datasets have not ruled out. For my honours project, I measured the abundance of lithium-6, an isotope of lithium in a star named HD 84937. This star has a long history of lithium-6 measurements. In 1993, Vern Smith at the National Optical Astronomy Observatory in the United States measured lithium-6 in HD 84937. This measurement was confirmed by Lewis Hobbs at the University of Chicago in the US one year later. Vern Smith re-measured HD 84937 in 1998 and still found lithium-6. This measurement was confirmed by Roger Cavrell in 1999 at the Observatory of Paris in France, Martin Aspland in 2006 at the Australian National University in Australia, and Matthias Stefan in 2012 at the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics in Germany. Basically, there was a consensus in the scientific community for almost 20 years that there is lithium-6 in HD A4937. This changed in 2013, with the findings from Karen Lind at the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics in Germany. With the use of better models, the lithium-6 detection in HD A4937 disappeared. Now, I am re-measuring lithium-6 in HD A4937, with a new technique and even better data. My preliminary results indicate that there is no lithium-6. I presented this at the conference I attended and was asked, how should the scientific community use this new information? What theories should we investigate based on this finding? I believe Karen's and my results indicate that there is a stellar solution to the cosmological lithium problem as opposed to a nucleosynthesis solution. But only time will tell if my conjecture is correct. Science is constantly evolving. I've been a part of the change in lithium-6 detection, which occurred over the last 25 years. Science is a human endeavour, with scientists working on many topics from all over the world. 200 years ago, scientists used to be rich people who could afford not to go to work and make discoveries. These days, science is a job, and scientists are everyday people from all walks of life like you and me. Maybe one day, you will be one of the scientists involved in advancing our understanding of the universe.